So hello everyone. Uh, today our topic is uh, TS two O nine food and beverage management, <coughs> and we are doing a menu planning. So I would like to introduce my group members. So we have Elisipedi, Morishma, Ayush, and Francis. Thank you, everyone, for joining us uh, at this point of time. So moving towards our menu. Um, uh, sorry, moving towards our restaurant, we are we have Kakana restaurant, it's the name of our restaurant. And uh, our restaurant follows three prefix diet, which is chicken, fish and vegetarian. And we use farm to table concept where we buy, uh, buy groceries such as uh, uh, like the product, uh, the products from local supermarkets, markets and uh, agricultural, uh, uh, Ministry of Ag Agricultural supported markets such as agro marketing. And our, our cuisine type is traditional Fijian cuisine. Moving on to the uh, body, uh, body content where the location of our restaurant is Pacific Harbor. It's near uh, Sea Line. And uh, as I have mentioned, it is a Fijian cuisine. The people who are, target, uh, who are, who are targeted are the local people of the area of the Pacific Harbor area, and we have local excursionists. These are the people who come from Western and Central to have a, a good time picnic over there. And we also target tourists. So these are the people, if we want to uh, know their uh, standard according to the uh, wages, they are middle wage earners and above. So our operation size of the cuisine is a small scale base base cuisine. We operate on a small scale. It's a small restaurant, and uh, so the opening hours for this uh, for our restaurant is six to nine Fridays to Mondays, and six to eight from Saturdays and Sundays. We also close our sh our restaurant for uh, emergency purposes for the customer uh, precaution purposes, which is uh, a seasonal uh, seasonal emergency. Uh, we these uh, these are the times when uh, our shop our our country faces a uh, 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 natural disasters such as a tsunami cyclone and earthquake so moving on i would like to to ask our dear friend uh, francis to enlighten us on the status menu thank you thank you Shinyo. <coughs> moving on to the three status three status um divided into two categories Non-vegetarian and vegetarian. Non vegetarian the first one is the kokonda. Uh, kokonda is served with fish, with uh, raw milk, garnish, with uh, coriander leaves and a slice of lemon. Uh, secondly is uh, fish kebab. Fish kebab is served with uh, mint paste and wedge of grilled lemon. Moving on to the um, Vegetarian. Vegetarian is um, kumala. It it boiled with uh, fried. Uh, it boiled with chili flakes or sweet and sour sauce. Thank you. Thank you, Francis. Now I would like to ask my dear friend uh, uh, Elizabeth to introduce on uh, five course menu. Thank you, Shivnil. Uh, for the five main <clears throat> five main course menu, uh, as you can see, it's uh, in two categories: uh, non-vegetarian and vegetarian. So, for non-vegetarian, we have mahi mahi, that's grilled or searing mahi mahi, served with lemon sauce topped with coriander leaves. Uh, secondly, we have kaikoso and nama with coconut milk. Ololo, that's garnished with lemon. And uh, thirdly, we have Swiss soup, uh, which is also known as beef soup, that's served with uh, green vegetables topped with coriander leaves. And for vegetarian, as you can see, we have palusami. We serve vegetarian or non-vegetarian. So those are served with slices of lemon. And lastly is nduruka, uh, that's in lolo or coconut milk served with boiled cassava, ondalo, and coriander leaves. Thank you. 
Now I'll pass it on to Ayush to do the next slide. Thank you, Elizabeth. Um, so I'll be introducing the 10 side dishes. Um, so it is categorized as non-vegetarian and vegetarian. I'll start off with the non-vegetarian first. Uh, we have Nama. It is served with shredded coconut. We have potato salad. Uh, it is basically mashed potatoes with the egg and mayonnaise and grated carrot. We have fish. It is served with tartar sauce and wedge of lemon. We also have crispy chicken salad. Uh, it is like a shredded chicken with mayonnaise, grated carrot, green onion, and leafy vegetable with a splash of lemon. Now moving on to the vegetarian dish, uh, vegetarian side dishes. We have boiled cassava. Uh, boiled cassava will be like served with green spicy sauce. We also have cassava chips. Uh, this will be served with chili flakes and smoky tomato dip. Um, we have dalu chips as well. Uh, this will be served with chili mint paste. We have bele. So basically we will be selling steamed bele with uh, grated carrot to just give a little bit of that creative look. Uh, we also have wundi. Uh, this will be either boiled or ripe wundi with mint paste. We also have, uh, lastly, we have coleslaw. Uh, this is like shredded cabbage, uh, grated carrot, English cabbage, mayonnaise, honey with splash of vinegar mixed together to create this salad. So I'll ask, uh, thank you, and I'll ask Prisma to enlighten on the desserts we have. Okay, yes. Uh, moving on to the desserts. Uh, we have uh, three types of desserts which are categorized vegetarian. First of all, uh, we have a bakalola, that is a steamed coconut and cassava dessert uh, that would uh, that will be served in banana leaves. Secondly, we have a uh, bakasoso, that's uh, rice wundi with coconut milk, and that could be uh, garnished with uh, dry coconut and mint leaves. Thirdly, uh, we have the uh, coconut and steam, which will be freshly made from fresh coconut milk with, with the customer's uh, choice of flavor, such as pineapple, watermelon, banana, homemade chocolates, mint flavor, or mango if in season. Thank you. Can you touch me? Uh, thank you, Marishma, for uh, enlightening us on the dessert. And uh, now I would like to move on to the beverage. So our beverage section is categorized into two uh, two category, uh, categories, which is alcohol and non-alcoholic. So vodka is served in the methanic glass of the 600 ml with uh, with lemon peels. And uh, third, uh, second is uh, bounty rum. It is uh, it is served in the 600 ml highball glasses, which is uh, which has. Uh, the slice of pineapple in it. And uh, we also give local beers, such as uh, Fiji Gold and Fiji Beta. And now moving on to our non-alcoholic section, we have mocktail. Mocktail contains, uh, uh, is uh, served in a 600 ml glass and it contains um, different uh, type of uh, fruit, which is available locally. And uh, we also have, uh, Soy soup juice, which is uh, uh, with uh, with the pineapple and uh, chia seeds, and we ha also have slush, or lo uh, normally lo uh, known as slushy, that is also served in six hundred ml glass with different uh, flavors. So now I would I would like to uh, enlighten our audience on uh, on the menu costing. So we have a. Uh, we have costed. Uh, we have uh, made a menu costing of a uh, uh, nama, uh, kakonda. Sorry, kakonda. Uh, kakonda dish. So we have a uh, fish, lime, coconut, tomato, coriander, chili, and onion. These are the um, quantity quantity of. Uh, these are the quantity which is uh, 
bought from the market. And these are the allocated price for the, the quantity, I mean, the, uh, the ingredients bought. And now the ingredients requirement for the dish, the amount of dish ingredient requires is this, which is fish 200 gram for one, uh, one small plate. And uh, there are others. So the calculated ingredients of the dishes has been made according to the uh, grams and costing original uh, ingredient cost. So I'll explain this. So we have uh, used uh, Excel, but uh, due to the old Microsoft PowerPoint I'm using, I wasn't able to into, um, use it over here. So it goes this way. 250 uh, grams of uh, fish is uh, divided by the 3,000 3, grams of uh, fish, which is multiplied by 30, which gives us $2.50. And as it continues, in that way. So moving on to the total purchase quantity is uh, the amount that has been used to buy the total ingredients. These are the total ingredients which has been mentioned here. And then we have the cost of the ingredient use. So these are these ingredients total here is $5.65, which is, um, which has been uh, multiplied by the uh, double of the original price, the cost, uh, cost ingredients price, which is $11.30. And that is the price of the dish. Thank you. Now, now our service element is uh, Sevu Sevu tradition, which is a typical Fijian tradition. We use this, uh, there are, uh, in this tradition, we during the entry of our guest, we provide our guest with a uh, young honor and uh, we also provide free mask sanitizer and we take contacts of our guest for the safety purposes. We ensure that our guest is safe due to this COVID-19 uh, uh, situation. So the restaurant's amenities or we can say asset which is provided by the restaurant are table and chairs. So we also give, uh, we also provide with traditional sitting method, which is a pigeon mat. As we are located near beaches, people can have, uh, people can uh, ask for a pigeon mat to have a good conversation. And we also, our tables and uh, chairs also has tapa and masi covers on it to show the classic uh, look of Fijian uh, theme. And then we have a typical bamboo light and the slow music to hit the very typical Fijian atmosphere. And we also provide electric fans and air condition to maintain the temperature. If there is any special requirement for heat source, we also provide heat fans. So these are our bibliography. We have used the YouTube, uh, YouTube video to, to um, to do this uh, costing of uh, our dishes. We also have used slideshare.net to ensure that our, our slides, uh, slides uh, theme matches our, um, our restaurant theme. So thank you so much for uh, watching our video and hope you have any question, you can comment down on our YouTube uh, channel.